Yep, yep. You know what time it is. It is Murders at Karloff Manor Collector Edition time. Here on the channel, this is your captain speaking here, Captain Clyde's MTG. And it's time we put this dog to rest, or cat to bed, or skin a puppy. I don't know, this is getting dark quick, let's just stop. Um, last box of Collector Edition Murders at Karloff Manor. And let's just say we're not really impressed. So don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comments down below will feed the YouTube algorithm. Uh, links in the description to the eBay store, TCG Player. Um, also, Patreon's down there if you want to reach out and support the old-fashioned way. Plus, we have memberships now on the channel. Uh, check that out. Get you some free live streams and all that stuff. Private live stream. We'll, we'll figure something out. Anyway, easiest way to support the channel is just like and subscribe. The subscribe button should be dangling over here somewhere. Eh, 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 eh. Um, and to watch the videos. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for your time. I'm still wondering where Sham Wow hasn't called me yet. You guys seen Sham Wow? Anybody? Anybody? Anyway, moving on. So here we go. Not the best start. Assemble the players. Commercial district. Havoc eater. Cover up. Yielding gate. My bobber. Unauthorized exit. That's what she said. Anyway. So not starting off too well. Um, hopefully we get an invisible ink card at worst. Hopefully at best. This is the last box. Maybe we can find an actual serialized card. That would kind of be cool. Or a change. So let's see how it goes. Come on. Ooh, ooh, that's a good one. Foil Massacre Girl. Very nice. All right, Mythic number two, maybe? Oh, nope. Nope. Just that. All right. Sleuth, Steam Core, eh, Foil Land. That's a decent pack. Not gonna lie. About break even, probably. So maybe our luck's turning around. Just getting us warmed up for the good stuff. Let's hope, for the love of God. So, eh, eh. ha! Yay, foil assassin's trophy. The most awful picture of Kellen I've ever seen. Okay, so he was kind of a cool-looking kid before. Like in this picture, did he like grow or age? Ten, grow ten years? Age ten years or something like? He way looks way too happy. It's, it's it's freaking creepy. Anyway, Watcher of Hours. Hmm. You'd think that'd be a better card. Um, ugh, Lamplight Phoenix Foil. That might be worth a little something. I really think Lamplight Phoenix is is a good card. It's a good card. I think it's probably going to be one of them cards that's a sleeper and I'm going to have to not list it and wait for it to go up in value. Ugh. Haunted Bone Brute. Hey, there's one of the most expensive cards in the set. They'll need a streetwise lookout and it's even in the special art. So that's a good hit for a mythic. So box is still doing good on the hits. There's another bone thing. So, not bad. We got a couple good hits there. It's about probably, I'd say, $40. Hopefully. Alright, come on now. The juice. Ugh. Really, Kellen? Really? Hedge Mage. Uh, Charnel. That's not good. Buzz Crusher. And Blood Spatter Analysis. Well, one thing's for sure, this is definitely a buzz cutter. Alright, last pack for the first half of the box. We've only got two mythics. They are two of the best, myth nah, 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 nah. best mythics in the set. Alright, come on. Uh, well, that could have went better. 
Hey, there's a Rakados. Rakadododos. Oh, two mythic pack. Can we go for three? Mmm. Swing and a miss. And then we have a, a Prius. I mean, a Yaris. Whatever. Get it? Yaris, the car. Made, but never mind. We'll just move on. Forget I mentioned it. All right, four mythics in. We got three real good ones. Uh, half a box left. Hit that like button. Try to get a little run good for the serialized card. Come on. Foil no witnesses. Hey, Incinerator of the Guilty, mythic number five. We'll take that. Final word, Phantasm, Giant Boner, um, 10th District Hero. Not terrible. Not terrible. We've got a Rakados in there. Rakadodos, the Dodos, the Dos. No, no, not Rakados. I mean, there's a Rakados there. The dragon. We got a dragon. Oh, I'm tired. About time for bed, I think. Come on. Let's go to have some sweet dreams with some sweet hits. That is not it. Merchant of Truth. Map Light Phoenix. Ooh, good lord. That pack was god awful. Man, oh man. That was not pretty. Four packs left. Still looking for that elusive, serialized card. It's not looking good for the te home team here. This is the last box of six. Ugh, Coveted Falcon. Forensic Gadgeteer. Uh, giant Horse. Leyline, alright, that's a good $8 hit. That helps. It lessens the sting, we'll say. Man. This really feels like a kind of set where it's it's serialized card or bust when you get a case. That's really what it feels like to me. I hate to say that now that I've been through all of it. Ugh, drag the canal. Niv Mizzets. Armed with proof. Uh, cryptic coat. That's about eight, ten bucks. An agency chief. I don't think I got very many of those. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Two packs left. Oh boy. Come on now. In the clothes. Nobody's watching anyway. They're already over it. Come on. Something big. Come on. Oh. Ho ho ho! Hidden Ink Rakados. That is sweet. Look at the ink on that. Got the little wing. We got some chains. Man, is that a sweet one. Still wishes a serialized card. But, I mean, hey, you know, this is still probably one of the sweeter hits of the box. And it is Mythic number six. Very nice. We haven't got that yet. That's interesting. No witnesses. Hey, another foil incinerator of the guilty. Mythic number seven. All right, so a little redemption there in the close. We do have one pack left. This could be the serialized card that we all hope to see. And God knows I do. Jesus. So, I mean, we did get a... A Rakados uh, ink card, so that's really cool. We got this is good, this is good. This might be a decent box. Uh, it looks like one of the better boxes we've had so far, um, but we can only hope. All right, come on, baby. One time, serialized card. Ugh. It is a foil mythic, though. It's a Kaya. So I guess I can't be too upset, but I will be. So regular Tangle Kelp, Treacherous Greed, and see, look, does, he looks normal in this picture. And a Kellen. They've really lowered the pull rate on these uh, serialized cards, and I'm not too sure. I mean, I like it to a point, but like buying six boxes... And not getting a serialized card really feels shitty. Um, I think I think this is the reason that the product is really starting to crash and get cheap is because people aren't pulling 
exciting cars like they do in the other sets. And because of that, the sets aren't selling and people are just doing anything they can to get out from under them. So with all that said, guys, um, I'm going to go hit the hay first and then we'll do some math tomorrow because math hurts my head even though I had a calculator. Anyway, until next time, be kind. Hope to see you across the game table. Later, player.